Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am going to be doing a Q&A of some comments that have been left behind so that you guys can get some answers about traveling to Puerto Rico during COVID and the new policies. So check them out. The first question is by Anaya Sharp, and they're asking, after July 31st, will the beaches and attractions be back regularly open? So to answer your question, I don't know. I don't know when, you know, or if the policy is gonna change. Um, I don't know if after July 31st, beaches are actually going to be open um, or, you know, like fully open or I don't, I don't know. There's no way to tell. Every once in a while, the policies are changing and things like that. So after July 31st, who knows? Next question is from Maria Miranda asking the link to get the barcode. So the barcode, guys, there is a barcode that you can come to the airport and you can show them and it kind of streamlines the process. Um, I'll make sure to include that in the uh, description box. But the way you get the barcode is by filling out the declaration form, guys. The declaration form. It's very important. It's going to help you when you get to the airport and um, it'll answer all the questions that they need from you. So fill out the declaration form, get the barcode, and you should be good. Maria Rod asked, did your aunt's daughter have to get tested? Okay, so to answer your question, I have my aunt's daughter here. Yeah, I actually did have to get tested. It hurt really bad. I had to get tested twice because first off, you have to like have a test 72 hours in advance, but like you don't have to have the results technically. You just have to have them like, you have to have evidence that you did it and stuff. Tizana Katz asks, I'm flying out tomorrow and can't get my results on time. I'm afraid to be quarantined. This question, um, this user actually already got here and she did leave a, a bit more comments about her experience. I might link the image, you can pause and just read it. But um, so she is a little bit afraid of being quarantined because she didn't get her results on time. That was kind of the case with my uh, husband. He didn't have his, and even my niece, they didn't have their, or my cousin, sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> They didn't have the results on time, but they did get tested and they indicated that on the form. So that's one thing you can do is just indicate that you got tested. I believe the user had a good turnout coming here. I don't think she had any problems not being, not getting her results on time. So that's just something that might calm some nerves. Josue Vasquez says, I've seen too many tourists not respecting mandatory use of face covering, use the mask and respect social distancing guidelines. Okay, so yes. The reality is that people are still going to travel even during a pandemic. Of course, of course, of course, be courteous of the people around you and wear a mask and wash your hands and social distance. Even if you're a part of the group that believes that coronavirus is a hoax or it's not as bad as the news is making out to be, at this point, it's not even about who's right or wrong or who has the facts or who has the statistics. It's just about human decency. This is a time where we're all a little bit on edge. And at the very least, we can do our part to ease the tension while still giving in to the beauty that is living. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and what are you doing? Like. <laughs> You're gonna add it. You're gonna like oh, subscribe. and like, I'm gonna put it, where am I gonna put it? So you're gonna subscribe. Subscribe, like, like comment, comment, comment. Share. Oh boy, that's too much. Just like, subscribe, comment, everything. Uh, <laughs> make sure if you have any other questions to leave them down below. My last day is today. I'm leaving today. Well, tomorrow. Tomorrow I meant.